Now we're going to talk about writing numbers with words, actually using English words to write out numbers. And first we need to understand the commas. You see the commas in this number. The commas are used to make a very large number a lot easier to read. And they group the digits into groups of three starting over here at the right. So you have three digits on the right and then a comma, three more digits and then a comma, and as many different groups as you need. And each group has a name. This first group is the ones group. So you could think of this as 924 ones. This next group, the 810 right there, 810, that's called the thousands group. And then the 378, the next three digits, is the millions group. And then the four is in the billions group. And you could go on with, if you had a larger number, you could have a trillions group and a quadrillions group and a quintillions group. But you need to understand the name of each group and what it means. It refers to a group of those three digits, and they get uh, larger and larger going to the left. Now, instead of expanding each digit, like we did when we were writing a number in expanded form, we can expand each group. And we do that like this. For this number right here, 4,378,810,924 ones, we could do something like we were doing in expanded form, but in, instead of expanding each digit, we'll expand each group. And we'll write 4 billions plus 378 millions plus 810 thousands plus 924 ones. Now, thinking of the number in terms of the groups like that is the key to being able to take a number and write it in words. So let's look at this number as an example. This is 5 millions, then 302 thousands, and 811 ones. And here's how we would write it in words. We're not going to actually write a single digit. Everything is going to be a word. So instead of the digit 5, we write the word. And we write 5 million, comma, 300 302,000, comma, 811. That is that number written in words. 5,302,811. Now, a couple of things to note. I didn't use the word and. Some people would say something like 302,000, and it's still pretty clear what you mean. But to just be exactly correct, if you want to really get this right, you don't use the word and in there. We'll use the word and in a different way later on. So write these without the word and. So you don't say 811, just say 811. 5,302,811. 5, 5, and we write 5 million, we write 302,000, but we don't say 811 ones. We don't write the name of the ones group at the end. Now you might be asking, why does writing numbers in words matter? Why is that important? Why can't we just write the number? It's a lot easier to write the number. It's a lot shorter, a lot quicker, a lot faster. Why do we need to write all this out with these very, very long words? Well, there are times when writing numbers in words is important. I'll show you an example. Sometimes handwriting is messy. Look at this number, 308,215. 308, what if it was written like this? Look at the second digit here. It's not entirely clear whether that's a zero or a six, and that's just the nature of human handwriting. Not everybody writes everything perfectly every time. And there are plenty of cases when this would matter. What if you were, for example, selling a house, and you were selling it for $368,215, and someone come up, came up to you ready to buy the house, and they were ready to pay $308,215. And you said, oh, no, actually, the, the price is 
$215. And they and they say, oh, no, 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 no. You said it was 308000 I see it right there. You could see a, a fight could ensue here. A fight, a $60,000 fight could be a big deal. Or if you were buying the house, you would want to make sure it was 308 instead of 368 The buyer and the seller each have a motivation to interpret the number a different way. And you understand that in financial matters, it's usually important. People want to get the numbers correct, down to the penny. So, and especially a number in the 10,000s place. So in almost every financial transaction, prices are written out as a number, and then just to be perfectly clear, they're also written out as words. And a good example of that is writing a check. If you write a check, there's a place on a check to write the amount of the check as a number, and a place to write it in words. And we'll look at, it, at an example of that next.